Hey Kins, it's a girl K did. Welcome back. Um <coughs> today's a snow day. So um that's what's going on. The sink in the kitchen has been backed up since the day before yesterday. You know it's a 24 hour ticket. Their 24 hours only goes in their work period. So from eight to four. Was it nine to four or something like that? I think it was eight, nine to four. So, no, I think it was eight. I think they opened at eight in the office. Um, so that's what's been going on with me right now. I've been having that problem happening in my apartment. And it's been giving me a, a, a slight struggle. Um, now, I got a... He, the guy came in, finally. He's starting to fix it, but, yeah. I have a video coming out today. My energy's kind of low. Um... It's giving me the push that I need. Somebody said I need to fill out this paperwork kind of thing. It's giving me the push that I need to um, really, you know, I've been doing Housing Connect, but um, Housing Connect has been on a lot of apartments out for New York City, for Brooklyn, and I'm going to apply for a lot of them today because I can't, like, it's just, I cannot live here like this. So, that's what I'm about to do. That's what I'm about to get. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, I'll talk to y'all later. These nature employees are a trip. How you come in, and I feel like this happened the same last time too. I just did it, got on the other side, so I didn't realize it. How you come in, fix the sink, because I have a two thing sink, so it's like two sides, right? One is higher than the other. How you fix the sink, and I ask you, did you fix the other side, and now you're gonna go fix the other side? If it's a two thing sink, you should have fixed both sides. You're here for the damn sink. Fix the damn sink. Why did I come off? That's the, the spec I'll be thinking. I was recording and I, I guess I pressed it too fast and came back off. How dare you? So, um, right now, this is what I'm doing. This is Valentine's Day and we have Starbucks. I was gonna do all the stuff, everything from just me. Not everything, I was gonna do something with KK, but not doing a lot, right? Thank you. You have a wonderful day. You too. So, I was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, I was gonna say. I think it would give me attitude or something like that. I was like, you know, I'm gonna go do this thing, but it's a pop up shop in New York City the, um, called the Pink, Pink, Pink something. So I'm gonna go to that today with KK. I'm gonna bring her, make reservations. It's, from what I understand, it's kind of twisted, but it's cute. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do it. This is my time today, it's Pink. Um, burgundy. My nails, you know, like, my nails don't match my outfit, but it's alright. It's fine. It's, it's totally fine. And um, I'm gonna do my thing, you know? So. I'm just like, I had the best day. You know, I don't, you know, got nobody to share with other than KK, but you know, I'm trying to be God. And I'm happy that he woke me up this morning. I'm happy he came on my way. I'm happy that KK is early for school and I test today. Yesterday was a snow day, if you don't know, in New York City. Um, so, I'm happy and I'm excited that I am alive because a lot of people didn't make it today. Didn't make it this year. So, I'm going to be grateful. You know, I'm a little late. Okay. I feel like in the past couple of months I haven't felt as lonely. God is doing a thing. He's working it out. I don't know what he's doing, but he's doing something. And I love him for it. Hope you guys have a good day. Hope you have a blessed and highly favored. And bye. So today's all about you know loving yourself and what's not. But I need some stuff in my house to be done. I washed. I started washing my clothes last night. Then I did, made it finish the wash this morning because I've been having like overflow problem. Okay, yeah. I told you that my sink was clogged up. They, the guy came in, he said a lot of it was like lint, hair. It's from the washing machine. So I'm tight. So, um, I'm have to get something to put over the things so I could catch some of the things. I guess something from Timu. If I could I have a shot there in a while, but something from Timu. So I just needed to change from the how it was looking. And with foster care, I was able to change it because my apartment was really small. So, like, I said my furniture had to be a certain way. Furniture had to be a certain way for it to be okay from the past my house. Now I got nobody in here, I can do what I want, want to do, you know? So, um, now I got a dirty clothes in the kitchen, the hamper. I'm thinking of one in my room, too. I'm like, what? Well, the apartment is so small, and I'm getting more stuff from storage out. I'm getting everything from storage out to put in here soon. It's like, I don't have to put stuff to make it even more cluttery than it is already a clutter. Because my apartment is already cluttered. And then it's going to be even more cluttery when I put the stuff back in here. So, um, what I was going to say. So, um, I need to get something for the drains. So when it stuff come out, it just, I can just put it right in the garbage. Um, because it's not 
conducive to go down. It's gonna stop up again if that's you know happening. He said he used vinegar and baking soda, which I've done before for like grease stuff. He said, I don't know how it would work better for lint than grease. I don't know, but before when I was trying to use it, it'll go down a little bit and stop after a while. It'll just stop. So um, I had bottles here that I need to go get my five cent for. I can't wait to New York City change it to ten cents because five cent is like nothing. It's <sighs> anyway. So I'm gonna do these bottles. And then I left my stuff in the charger and I'm put, put my clothes up to dry because, you know, I don't have a dryer, so I have to make it dry in my apartment. And, yeah. Anyway, guys, I took out in a... Maybe the next clip. We'll see. <laughs> when I was walking, I, just, I literally took a put down the camera. When I was walking, I was thinking of some stuff and I was like, I need to take that to the camera. Um, we're going to change a little bit up on here. Um, I feel like I do this more on my other channel, um, the podcast and stuff like that. Not, that's not mine. It's for my jobs. Um... I want to help you guys help advocate for yourself and talk up for yourself and just, you know, don't make the right make you feel like you're too small, you don't know enough to know about certain things and things like that. So, um, that's one of the things I want to probably talk about more on this channel, just talking up for yourself and, um, I feel like all my life I had to advocate for myself, but if I where I live or just, um, the like people in my house that I live with, like certain things like that. And... I wish I advocated more in high school than I did. I advocated a lot for myself in high school, but coming down to the very end, I kind of gave up, and <laughs> certain things transpired because of that. Um, if I would have advocated earlier, it would have been a different outcome. But, you know, you live and you learn, and because of that, it did shape me in the person I am today to make sure I speak up on um, when it's the time to speak up, not way too late, because when you wait too late, um, it has a worse outcome, worse outcome, you know? Um, so, you live and you learn. Man, big on my no, and um, you can't go back in time to you know spill old milk, spill milk, something like that. You know, the, you know the saying. But I just want to be a better me, and that's how I want to come in 2024. And also, guys, um, I'm not gonna lie, I want to keep my stuff in storage. I need to if I make enough on here because right now I don't have the baby, so the baby money that I was getting, if you don't know, you get paid for foster care, I was paying for storage. And I only honestly put stuff in storage because I had a baby, to be to be honest, to begin with. I always said when I had my, if you don't know, foster care, you had to have your house a certain way. <laughs> and the house that I had was too cluttered. But I really wanted to do foster care because I really want to open my heart to a child and have a home for a child. So I was like, and the system needs a lot of help. <laughs> a lot of kids in there are black and brown children. Not really brown, I, like, I would say just um, I'm African-American kids. Um, you know, I hate that word. That's not the point. Um, so... I want to be do my part. Now I don't want to do adopted kids, to be honest. But right now, I'm not going to take any kids for in for now um, because of that situation. And apparently, I don't know if y'all heard, but they need a lot of Hispanic foster care parents. And to me, that's very odd. And I'm not, I'm not sure if you guys heard about it. But if you don't know, if if you live other places, New York City has a lot of migrants coming in. A lot of them are Hispanic. Um, the such a population for families are overrun by the... Um, the, the they call it the migrant crisis, the, the whatever they want to call it, right? A lot, a lot of them are Hispanic. People, the people don't understand. New York City is a hub of people just coming in in general, legal or illegal, from <laughs> other countries. We've been this way. We have Ellis Island. Like, let's be honest. But right now, it just seems like an influx, and with the homeless problem we already had before this was going on, it makes it much bi um, bigger and a more burden on New York City. But I just think it's odd to me, and the reason why I know this is um true. A foster, not my foster care agency. I was talking to somebody and I was like, "Oh yeah, I'm a foster mom." He said, "Oh really?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm a foster mom." Yada yada yada. Um, my daughter, I just um gave her back to her, uh, her, her family, things like that. And she said, "Yeah, um, she got a letter from her foster care agency saying that they need Hispanic. She's Hispanic. They need Hispanic foster parents because they have a lot of Hispanic kids coming in." And to me, it's very odd, or just interesting in general, because especially in shelters, they love putting you with ACS. Um, it's just, it's to me, it's out of control. Hospitals do the same thing. And they need to get, honestly, get the system better. And you shouldn't be threatening people to take your kids away. And the people, if you don't know right now, ACS don't take your kids like that. I know it has a bad stigma and bad things, but you got to do a lot to be, to be really get your kids taken away from ACS. Um, of course, you know, some things do fall through the cracks. So it seems for certain people, such certain situations, it seems like it, they take your kids all away just all of it willy nilly. Before it, it even go to ACS, it goes to another center. And the center determined, because a lot, if they didn't have that center before ACS, a lot more people would be reported and have getting kids taken away. To be honest, um, and this is a person who had an open ACS case because of my foster baby. Um, not because something on my part, but because the parents wanted to get even with me, they opened up a case, but of course it was undetermined because the incident happened at school and it didn't happen with me, so. 
at the point. Um, if I want to get more into that, I can tell you about that. I can take you a full, full story time or full story, whatever, about it. But um, it happened a year and like th three months ago. So yeah. But they say it's close as place is closed against me. That's another thing why I do want to close my case in a way and not want to help the system because that they shouldn't allow that to happen but you know it is what it is um so it just seems very weird to me how we have an influx of people who are hispanic and now you need hispanic people like more hispanic families are you taking kids away from their families families are if you don't know if you listen to my podcast i did one about asylum seekers last year and a lot of people don't want to send their kids to school because they're afraid that the kids get taken from the school which it seems that this might be happening for real um like they're afraid and it's like you know sometimes i try to i'm very, try to be very optimistic about things but when you see numbers and this is happening it's crazy so the lady told me a foster care agency um to say they want more foster parents she hasn't done it in a while so you know her case is closed you have to renew every year in new york city if you don't know if you're gonna be a foster parent and they're giving her a sign-on bonus to come back so that means you really are desperate when you do sign-on bonuses you are desperate to get people to come in who speak that language. And she said she speaks both Spanish. They said they don't care. Long you could um you could talk a little something, something they don't care. Um, which is to me that's kinda scary because they they probably don't have enough people in the system who are even Hispanic, so God forbid I'm not saying her, there's people in general who are Hispanic who are doing this thing and they might hurt a child because you know not all foster parents are made equally. And who gonna be the translator for these kids? After so I think five, four or five kids get therapists, do they have enough Spanish speaking therapists? Like I'm like what's are y'all taking people kids away? Basically stealing kids, kids away because y'all don't understand their culture and all of these things. And then put them in foster care. And who's going to be able to really make sure these kids are okay? Who's really making sure these... um? Because I, I, I would think that most lawyers and most judges do not speak Spanish. Because most teachers and stuff don't speak Spanish. So I'm, I'm not saying like, you know, but I feel like it's going to be so much harder to get these kids out of the system because it's going to be a language barrier. And I'm like... I don't know. It's a big thing. It's, it's going to be annoying, but hopefully all these kids go back to their families if it's really um, a culture, not understanding kind of thing. But if it's really a child getting hurt, they need to be away from whoever they're, they're with, right? But if it's not, you know, um, they need to go back to their families. But anyway, guys, let me go do this bottles and do what I got to do and come back to you guys later. I be thinking that the pedestrians in New York City have the nerve. No, the bicyclists. The pedestrians turned bicyclist has a nerve. So, mind you, thank God this wasn't a um, this wasn't a busy street because then it would have been an accident in front of my eyes. I'd have been tight. I'd have been pissed that you let this be a scarful moment in my life, right? So, I'm walking, 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 right? And there's a two lane. They're both moving. This bicycle go down the lane like what direction of the cars are going, which is like it's supposed to do, right? Oh shoot. They don't take this size. This is five cents in New York City, so I'm upset. I should have bought smaller bottles so I could get money back. I feel so gypped right now. And, um, so that was happening. So, instead of, he went straight and he's going the direction, and all of a sudden he went, he turns into the other lane with the other direction to make a U turn. Boy, you are not a car, you don't have a blinker. A car was coming down on him. Yo. If you would've got hit, I would've, I would've feel bad. That sounds so bad, but I, you know what you was doing. And y'all stay killing people this way. So I'm like, I don't know. I just, they doing too much. Guys, I'm excited. I made a dollar. Honestly, I usually wait till I have more bottles than that. Like, but this time, last time, because my dispenser was, I didn't get no water from the dispenser. So I had to buy like big one liters a bottle so it like take up more space. Um, <laughs> only got like a couple, couple times a year. Probably like, three times a year I go to like to do the bottles because I have the water bottle in my house right so for some reason this this store even though I bought it from here they don't take back their one liter Polish spring bottles and I'm tight so the guy was like shop right doesn't work I don't live nowhere near shop I'm not gonna go travel find a shop right to get it back about 20 cents 30 no it was like I've got like 10 so you know that have been like a little you know that's 50 to 50 cents. I mean, it's, it's okay. It's fine. Um, so, that's what I'm going to be doing right now. I'm chilling. Um, I mean, I put it in a little garbage. The guy took it out and I guess going to either keep it for yourself or give it to my... I'm not sure. But, yeah. That's what's going on right now. Bye, bye guys. We are on our way to the place right now. 
the walking down, walking down. KK doesn't know what's going on. She's like, mommy, what's going on? What's going on? I'm like, nah, you don't got to know. Even at this point, we've been out here a couple of times, but she should just recognize the place because this is where they have, they're putting everything down here. Um, well, it's like a pop-up, so at this point, she's normally going to a pop-up. Duh. But she's a kid, so you know, I give her some leeway. Okay. So y'all see this already. I gotta show you this in the daytime. But I think most of the time, we keep in the daytime a couple of times. We're doing this, so. Yes. Get it get it <laughs> it'll mommy guys but it is still obviously valentine's day and we are here doing our thing um this is kk i got that pink drink it was a one out of ten for me um but i'm also a person who doesn't like um yogurt with flavor i like to have plain um yogurt i mean yogurt yogurt i'm sorry said it's gonna taste like chocolate strawberries i also like my strawberries with this I don't like none of my fruits when they're ripe. I like them when they're green, so that's also a thing. It tastes like ripe strawberries, which I think is very disgusting. But you know, so each his own. I seen some creators say, oh my God, it tastes so good. I'm like, I'm tasting them like, what the hell? Why are y'all lying to me? Why are y'all lying to me? Like, why would you do that to me? What have I done to you for you to lie to me? Like, I just don't get it. But oh, we was here the other day. Now I realize I think of where we were. I was in the tizzle the other day. I was like, I know where the hell we were, but now I know where we are. I know where we're going. You know where we're going? Do you though? You know the area we're going in. You don't know what we're going to be doing. What are we going to be doing? We're going to be like going in like the piers. Oh, yes. We're going to the piers. Uh huh. Uh huh. We're going to Pier uh, 17. I think it's, it's either 16 or 17. I don't know. It's right next to each other. I don't know. Who knows when we get until we get there? But I know. You don't know. And you kinda know. <laughs> but anyway. Come. Bye y'all. The remote glasses. I'm done remote glass. Oh, that? I'm done with you. So this is where we are. Because it's so bright out here when I look at my reflection Amber in the thing. Rose. I can't. Amber Rose. Is it? I don't know. Amber Rose. Remember that. I don't know. No. I don't see no signs. Labor tree. Let's see. Who's on the boat and over there? What? Who's on the boat right there and on the boat right there? I don't know. <laughs> Let me see where we ain't, where we gotta go. Either I just didn't know, or they just been doing proper shots here before. I just didn't realize it. Or they saw that Target did one over here to so like let me use the space for everything. Because when the land was down here, I think she just repurposed the place. I don't think, and that's what they did. Repurposed the place. Same place, different decorations, different celebration. Um, after all, I'm just gonna stop coming because why do that? Waste money? Ooh. I know. I'm about to do that. Come to the bathroom. Oh um, my guys. Because we're gonna kill me. I got this with it. Tickets to go with it. The drink, yes, yeah, drink. I got a macaroni. I'm gonna start doing voiceovers for these things because apparently it's a hot mess. So hopefully it doesn't sound too crazy to you guys. I know my mouth is moving. But um I wanna show you all the stuff, the menu, the place, the area, the things like that. Did I say I don't have a microphone? I'm just talking and talking and talking as I do. So this is Valentine's Day with me and KK. My hair is not looking the greatest, but, you know, KK's having fun. This place, I feel like, is kind of... I'm not going to the spot again because I feel like they don't do nothing. It's not... The Christmas was the best part, Um, probably because they do it created towards the kids. The adults is kind of corny stuff, and I'm talking. Let me see if music is on. Hold on. Do I come often? I'm going to start coming often. I got my bottles because it's cute. I get a bottle stuck on purpose to my side. Yes. Guys, we're back. Hold on. Guys, the place is just like Wonderland. I didn't get the full effect just because um, I didn't stay at nighttime, I went at daytime. And the food is still not that great. The food was like out of 10, a five. Really a four and a half, but I'm, I'm being nice. Um, so that's pretty much that. I don't, I don't recommend to go. Um, 
Yeah. I think if you've never been to Wonderland, you'll think it's great. I had the salmon. I think Wonderland food was kind of much better too. I had the um, lobster pasta. I want to say lobster pasta. The thing with the cone, the macaroni and cheese kind of thing. Last time, um, I want to say. So I think I saw a YouTuber go there and they said it was like, oh my gosh, so good. Maybe because they don't go out that much. I think that's the problem because they, they tell you all the time they don't go out that much. So to them, it might be wonderful. But person who go out all the time, I don't think it's worth it. And the surcharge just to pay to go inside makes no sense to me. It's not a club. I'm confused. Um, it was better for summer winter time because you had more, I feel like, they had the, um, the pit still, the which is it's still winter in New York City. So um, they had the the fire pit, which was cute. Um, but what I thought about it, I would have bought my own daggone stuff for s'mores. It makes sense. They had a little thing, the carousel thing was down, but they had it. They made not down, but they made it into something else. But uh, even adults can go on it because last time when Kay went on it, it was stopping and going, stopping and going. Um, like a baby carousel. Um, what else? They had picture moments. The stuff with the, um, I took some pictures there with me and KK. Um, they had another part, like the lights over the thing, because I didn't stay at night, I didn't, can't see the full effect of it. So I would've stayed another, like, hour. Um, God, I'm literally getting back into Brooklyn, it'd've been good. Right now I'm getting a smoothie. <laughs> it was overpriced and overrated. And if they have another thing there, unless they're gonna do something good, I'm not. But if I get a ticket, because they supposed to give you, supposed to get two alcoholic drinks. Because I have a child with me, I only got one alcoholic drink and one regular drink, which is fine. Not a, not a big deal. Like all the drink, as you saw in the pictures on Instagram, is very, very small. He gets drink is much bigger than mine, so that's how they do with alcohol anyway. So I understand. Um, there's no ice in it, which is good. I wanted to get the full effect of, you're going to see the um, part of the thing, but I didn't get to do it, the candy cane thing. I didn't realize it when the, before they started. I'm like, oh my gosh, dang. I wish I took a video. It's too late. Experience over, right? Um, what else do they, what do they have there? Uh, what else do they have there? Oh my gosh. Yeah, this picture, picture places, like this, this love swing thing it was cute. But it's not, it wasn't like, and this time they took, they even have less seating because of winter time, when it was like, we winter just still, in December for Christmas, they had this inside place that you could just, you could order food or you could eat in there. And um, you didn't have to have like, Pick the seat in advance, you get paid in advance. This time, they gave you less seating. That area, you cannot go in unless you um, did the seats in advance. And you have to, yeah, so you have less seating now than before. Everybody was not much seating. So the seagulls, they might come for you. I'm not sure how it is at nighttime or the daytime. No numbers don't play. Um, I think it's a one fly drop, they try to come close. I'm like, mm, get away, get away, sir. So I will say, especially in the summertime, do not go there. There's gonna be more seagulls there. Let's see, gonna eat on the inside, but sometimes it's gonna be, you know, New York City is blazing hot. So to be in one of those little houses thing, sometimes it's crazy. I'm not sure if they was having stuff there, pop shops there all the time. I just didn't realize, but um, the other when they had um Target Wonderland, it was free, great. When they had the regular Wonderland for um for Santa, it was okay. If I had to compare which one is better, because I had a baby with me last time, I feel like that's not gonna be the full, you know, thing. But I like the Christmas one better. The the Valentine's Day one is kind of not janky, but it's just like probably because Christmas is just by itself. I feel like it's the best holiday of the year, so that could also be the thing. Um, so that could be it. Mm. This had to plan this this year. I plan in God's spare life to do more Christmassy stuff. I did I did some more stuff last year. I caught some events that I wanted to catch. But I want to do even more. Um, I need to also save even more money, so there you go. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it with the pink pear thing. The amount of money that I spent. I took a picture of the food. The buns are pink. They try to go for the pink theme. This is pink, so that makes sense. Um, I spent eighty dollars on three pieces of food. I got more food in Cheesecake Factory the other day than it was cheaper. And that food wasn't that great. Like, I told you it's a five. The seven was surprisingly not that bad. The seven was like probably a 6.5. Really a 5.5 was trying to be nice. So, the mashed potatoes was also pink. 
broccoli mashed potatoes, I want to say they said it was. Um, it was, surprisingly, it wasn't that bad. But overall, the food was like a five. But the salmon by itself with the broccoli, um, you know, also the fries came cold. You could say, oh my God, because it's fries. Fries get cooler. They should have made that fries piping hot. I have the salmon not as hot. But the salmon had like a little, a little, you know, heat onto it, but it wasn't that much. Obviously, it was outside, so it also, that also determines how cold or hot your food is going to be. Um, it's not a 10 out of 10. It was five out of, 5 out of 10. The whole experience. Um, the drink was okay. I got the... So I had picked it, but I just ended up buying it. Um, I buying it, but it came in our meal. The what is it called? Purple flamingo, purple. Some of cotton candy, some of the bag. I don't know. Some of cotton candy in it. Um, it was the greatest. Um, drinking. I'm a drinker. I'm a drink. I'm a drinker. I'm a drink. And I don't think it's the best drink <laughs> that I've ever had. So I don't know, guys. I was happy to spend it with KK. KK is now sleeping. These are this nice little merry thing. We can use it for something else probably in the future. Um, ooh, we can wear this. Ooh. I was gonna do matching. We could do same matching hoodies though. But we got a stitch hoodie for um, just to have matching clothes. That's what we do. And this goes with the stitch thing. We're gonna wear it on Friday because Friday dress all day for her school. I guess because it's testing today, even though the other network schools have dress down day, her school didn't have dress down day, so, um, mm. so, we're going to put the match on Friday, I think we're the same outfit for this event we have coming up, we just went, I was like, can you the match, she said, yeah, I wanted to do a full outfit, but we could just do, well, it was good. I'm going to try to get Converse, she has Converse already, I'm going to get Walker Converse's. <laughs> it has a bunch of clothes in it. Or you got a sweater, put on some blue jeans, match. And put on these, forget about it. Forget about it. Mm. That event is in April though. Or was it in March? I want to say April. <laughs> I don't know. I just know I paid for it already. So, yeah. God's Spare Life will be there for that. Mm -mm. Let me go home. Have my smooth, my colon cleanser. Kill cleanser. Clean, clean out that colon. I lost like 10 pounds. And I'm getting my pounds back. The devil's a liar. I'm excited tonight. Get like, my heart rate tonight because I can't. I can't. I was really close to 280 something. I'm like, I was, I was really close to 289. I need to get that close back again. So. If I can lose about 50 pounds by the summertime, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be ecstatic. Like, I don't even know, people wanna be 120 pounds, 140 pounds. I just wanna be 220. Apparently, I'm shrinking, so I'm like 5'6, allegedly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the doctor again and get tested by a different person. I tested, but like, the, the length checked by a different person. But I've been 5'7 and a half for a while, but she said, for my age, I could start shrinking. So it's not too, I'm not too young to be shrinking. I'm like, damn. I always wanna be short, but I can't be short and fat. Also, if you're shrinking, he said, because also if you don't stand up straight, but better posture, I just not help. And I had good posture for a while, but my posture has been going to hell the past couple of years, so. Hi, guys. 